What's up guys? So Glass is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, aka M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong, and it stars James McAvoy returning as his character from Split, or characters, I should say, Bruce Willis returning and Samuel Jackson returning from their roles from Unbreakable. This is a sequel to both films. This is the completion of the unofficial trilogy, I suppose you could say. And uh, going into this movie, I was interested in seeing it. I thought the trailers looked good. I think uh, Split was, was a good movie. I liked it. Uh, I, I definitely uh, thought it was a decent movie. Uh, it kind of lost me at the end, but I, I get what they were trying to, to say about it. Uh, I, I, I get it. And this movie, they sort of explore that. And Sarah Paulson's character is trying to prove that superheroes are not real. Or uh, people that have superhuman abilities, like uh, Bruce Willis's strength and, uh, you know, uh, Glass's uh, power and, and uh, the Beast, played by uh, James McAvoy, and all his identities. Uh, so, you know, it was definitely an interesting concept. And I think the first hour of the movie, the first 20 minutes mainly, I thought really worked. And I liked the setup, and I was like, oh wow, I wonder what's going to uh, happen here. I mean, M. Night is, is he's, he's setting the field, so to speak. Uh, so I was very intrigued to see how things were going to go. And the movie runs for about two hours long without credits, so I, I, don't, I don't really see this movie as a three-act structure. I see this movie as two parts. The first half, the first hour, the second half, the second hour. And I love, I, I didn't love, but I was really into the first half. I was like, wow, I'm surprised that this movie doesn't have a higher rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It's, it's not getting as many good reviews. I was kind of surprised about that. And then the second half of the movie played out, and I feel like... There could and Knight could have had a stronger story. Uh, I, I guess I get what he was trying to, to go for with this movie. I mean, I guess they could do another one. Who knows? Uh, with different characters, you know, because it, it, it's, it sort of reminded me of the end of The Last Jedi. Without any spoilers, the very last scene of The Last Jedi with, with the broom kid. Uh, this movie sort of gave me similar vibes. Uh, and I, I don't know, I thought it was, I thought it was okay, but I, I don't think the movie completely tanked with, from the second half, but I totally feel like the entertainment value goes uh, astray a bit in the second half. There's a really cool sequence that takes place outside, it's featured in some of the trailers, it's sort of an action-y sequence, which I was really into. I think the movie shot great, I think it's, uh, you know, directed great, I think the script is good for the first half and then the second half you know it doesn't really know what to do with itself in my opinion i think anya taylor joy is good in the movie but she really has nothing to do uh i don't think anyway i mean sure she has something to do in the movie she has a i wouldn't really say a goal but 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 she's asked to 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 help with certain things and uh I, I thought it was fine, you know, I, I, like that all really plays out in the second half of the movie, which was very underwhelming to me. Sarah Paulson's character just became very underwhelming to me. I feel like some of the things that happened, some of the, 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 the I don't know if I'd say twists, but some of the turns and, and reveals or whatnot that take place in the movie, uh, I didn't really care for. Um, and I would say that I, I, the first hour of this movie, I was like, wow, I liked this movie. I like this movie more than Split. Then the second half of the movie took place, and uh, I don't. I definitely think Split is a, is a better film. Uh, I haven't seen Unbreakable, but I, I, I do know what it's about. I know the, the subject matter and everything, so I didn't go in completely blind from that aspect. But uh, I'm going to give Glass three and a half out of five stars. I liked the movie. The first hour of the movie, I think, is very good, uh, and I was really into it. But uh, the second half, like I said, it doesn't totally tank. But it, uh, it, it definitely takes a, a, a downward spiral. Uh, so, guys, comment your thoughts in the comment section. Do you plan on seeing Glass? Did you see it already? What are your thoughts about these movies that M. Night has made in this like unofficial trilogy? You can also subscribe to this channel. My review for The Hunchback of Notre Dame is up on this channel right now. Surprise review. Also, I've been doing some live streams from the PS4. I've been playing uh, Spider-Man. Uh, just for a little bit, just to have some fun. Uh, so if you want to join the live chat for that tonight, I'll probably be doing, 
uh, I'll probably be going live once tonight. I might go live twice. I just got Call of Duty Black Ops 4, so I might do some zombies. Uh, with that, I'm very excited. I, I just got my hands on the game today, and I just got a camera for the PS4, so it's going to be very exciting to uh, do that, so hopefully you'll be able to join. You can also follow me on Patreon if you want to help this channel grow. I'll be able to do more Blu-ray unboxings. If you notice, I haven't done any this year, and I'm probably not going to be able to do many more, if any, of those uh, at the moment. So if you want to see that happen, you could consider following me on Patreon. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links of those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingArises131. Guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Glass. Over and out. What have you done, Elijah?